As more builders are requesting open web floor truss designs, the MyTech PosiStrut floor truss is quickly becoming the go-to solution. The availability of PosiStrut floor trusses, along with stable pricing and lightweight design, meet all the needs of your builder. In addition to being lightweight, startup time to build PosiStruts is quicker. PosiStrut systems allow single cord for top cord applications. There's also a reduction in accidental drilling through webs. And of course, it frees up time on your saws. PosiStrut metal webs are available in six different sizes, ranging from 9 and a quarter inches to 16 inches deep. To begin the production of the PosiStrut floor trusses, pre-pull and stage the product-specific PosiStrut metal web in the overhead rack, or stage the PosiStrut metal web within easy reach of the production line. Like standard wood web trusses, posi strut trusses consist of various end and mid-span details that could include end blocks and vertical members. If end blocks or vertical members are required once they have been cut for the job, place them in the overhead plate rack or within easy reach of the production line. Truss connector plates will be used on the end blocks. After pulling the proper quantity and size of plates, place them in the overhead plate rack or within easy reach of the production line. The top and bottom cords are moved to the rail rider from the cut and spliced cord staging area, keeping them within easy reach of the assembly crew. Some cords are spliced with the rail rider on table splicing, while some are spliced using MyTech splicer. To begin floor truss fabrication, place the top and bottom cords in the floor truss jigging. Slide the end of the top and bottom cord against the end stop. Next, insert the end blocks into the jigging and add any additional vertical members and then close clamp tubes. Next, place the connector plates on the end blocks and vertical members and tack into place. Once the end blocks and other vertical members have been placed and tacked into place, it is time to add the posi struts. When placing the posi strut, you need to be aware of the proper posi strut web locations as shown on the truss drawing. When tacking the posi strut into place, be sure to strike the plate or teeth at the end of the posi strut, being careful not to strike the posi strut web. If you strike the web and the web material is damaged, it may need to be replaced. If the damage is significant, remove the posi strut and replace with a new posi strut. Once all posi struts and connectors are tacked into place, confirm the assembly crew members are clear of the jigging table, and then, using the Rail Rider floor truss press, embed the plates in posi strut webs. Once the press head has reached the end staging area, release the clamp tubes. Ensure the tabletop area is clear and initiate the truss flippers to move the floor truss to the other side of the jig for plating on the reverse side. While the assemblers are placing and tacking the posse struts and the connectors on the unplated side of the floor truss, repeat the process of placing cords, verticals, posse struts, and connector plates on the next floor truss to be assembled. In some posi strut floor truss designs, it is necessary to use a half posi strut. This requires snapping of the posi strut. To do so, grasp the posi strut and bend it along the scored center line. Following the posi strut layout on the floor truss design, place the half posi struts in place and proceed with the placement and tacking of the remaining posi strut webs and connector plates. Repeat the embedment process as detailed earlier. Once the posi strut floor truss job has been completed, band the trusses together for transporting to the yard. Posi strut floor trusses should be stored in your truss yard similar to the way roof trusses are stored. For more information on posi strut floor truss design and fabrication, contact your MyTech sales representative or go to mytech-us.com slash posistrut.